Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Squadron. We're going to cover how can we add a video to our Elemental page, or basically any WordPress page in effect really, where we can remove the title, the watch later and the share buttons in a YouTube video. Because let me just show you why I'm, I'm not a fan of that feature. If I go to video, and we just drop video in, okay, and let's just make this section about, say, 500, just so we can see it on the screen there, okay. If we go over here, where we've got the source, which is YouTube, obviously got Vimeo self-hosted and all of that. We're going for YouTube. If I go to my channel, I'm just going to pick this video here, and I'm just going to pick up the address from the top. I'm going to go back over to my Elemental page and paste it in. Voila, the video is there. You can obviously change things like autoplay, mute, loop, uh, whether you see the player controls, which is the play button, the pause button, the volume, all of that kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to show it. Okay, now that's all great and fine. But what I don't like about this is that is, oops, let's just minimize that, sorry. When you, when you do start to play the video and you start watching it, the title is still there at the top. And look, you've still got the whole, um, uh, the more button for watch later and share now. Let me just, let me just put that 600. There you go. Watch later and share now. I, I'm not a fan of that. There is a way that lots of people say you can get rid of that. It doesn't really work. So let me just show you that method and then show you the solution. If we go back to the video and I go to share, there's the option for embed. When you click that, you then get this all these options. Well, you get this bit of text. And what you're going to do is just copy that in its entirety. Just copy it. There are options here for show player controls and when does the video start. There used to be an option down here for where you could um, hide the title and things like that. That is no longer there anymore, which is really, really annoying. So anyway, we've copied that text. What I'm then going to do is go over to here. I'm going to get rid of this video now, and I'm going to add in a HTML. And I'm now just going to drop the code in. Okay, you could add a text editor and drop this into the text editor text field. There's many ways you could do this, okay? You could even drop that code into a testimonial or a carousel or whatever you want, okay? It's a bit of code, you can dump it wherever you want. Think of it like a short code. Now, what a lot of people say is when you take the address of your video, which sits within the speech marks, before the closing speech mark, you add in a question mark. You then add in show info and type it correctly, show info, one word, equals zero. Okay, and then you update that. And if I now hit play, well, I can still see the title. I can still see the clock with watch later and share now as well. It's not really served my purpose. So how can I get rid of that? Because I am trying to, you know, when you've got this on the page, it's, it, I just don't like it. I want it just to be a clean video. Now on our Web Squadron website, anyone that's taken a course or even looked at the intro videos for the courses, you'll notice the video does not have any of these options on there. And the reason for that is because we use Presto Player. So let me just go into my plugins. Plugins, come on, plugins. Plugins. Right, okay, here we go. We go to plugins and I'm just gonna go to add new. And if you go to here and just type in Presto, there's not many things that are going to pop up for Presto, by the way. So the ultimate video player for WordPress by Presto Player. Um, Adam, WP Crafter, wonderful, wicked, wicked guy. You know, um, they've helped develop and create this. Now, there is a free and a paid version. I am not affiliated. There is no link in my description for Presto Player. You want it? Go and find it. Download it. I am not affiliated to them whatsoever. Okay, I want to make that clear. The premium version is what we use for our courses, means we can make the video completely secure. Also, it means that no one can go to that video, right click it, inspect it, find the address and then steal the video from another source. They can't do that because it's a course, you know, you've got to pay for it to see the video. But if you just want to show a YouTube video or any other type of video, to be honest, and you don't and you want to kind of um, just modify the way it looks on the screen, use the free version. Install Presto Player, okay, once it's installed, it, the option is going to be over here, Presto Player. It is a super, super clean plugin in what it does. I mean, there are settings in there, 
that you can go in and mess around with if you want. But a lot of these are kind of only really enabled if you have the pro version. But for what we're doing, we're just going to jump straight into Media Hub. Now, any video you want to show on your website, you've got to actually add it here first. Don't add it onto your web page and then try and get Presto Player to work. The Presto Player widget feeds from here. So we're going to go here and we're going to click Add New. OK, and you have to have one um, one of these pages per video. So don't create it and stick 20 videos on. No, it's one per video. And I'm going to call this, um, I'm just going to call it pop up because the example we had from my channel was a pop up video. I'm then going to click YouTube. You had options there for Vimeo and video. I'm then just going to type in the address for the video. So we're just going to do that and click add video. As soon as it appears, it's going to be just like what we've seen before, where you've got the title and all of that on there. What I'm going to do, if I just move myself out of the way over here, is there are options like autoplay and all of that, you know, and play around with it. Some of these are only enabled on the pro version. But you see here, we have default core simple minimal YouTube optimized. Let me just move myself. Let me shrink myself. No, I won't. I'll put myself there. There we go. OK, so that's what it looks like now. That's what a course looks like. Not that different from the default, I have to be honest. We have simple, which is just like just the play button and the full screen. We have minimal, which doesn't even give you that. So it's now just the play button. Or you can go for YouTube optimize, which um, you have some options down here, which that one there isn't always like the quality of the video. Sometimes it's nothing more than the speed of the video. But I'm going to go for the YouTube optimized, OK? You can also um, decide on, where is it? Uh, if I just scroll down, there you go, poster image. So you might decide, okay, I wanna have uh, this image showing on the video. I might just have that showing, for instance. So this is where you can decide, I mean, obviously pick cover up that it's the right resolution. Ooh, very bad me, aren't I? So we'll just go with that one for now, okay? And then you'll have your play button, or you can remove it because you've already got some channel cover art. So up to you how you do it. We then hit publish. That is now published. If we now go back to our Presto Player Media Hub, okay, yeah, we're going to leave the site. And we go to Presto Player Media Hub. There we go, pop up. Now, what you do here is you can just copy the short code, okay, by the way, all right, so there are multiple ways you can do this. You can either copy that or you can select it from a drop down, but I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to go back over to my pages. I'm going to go to widget. And we're going to just get rid of this video that we have here now. Now, after installing Presto Player, if I type here Presto, Presto Player widget is available for us. Let's just drop that in. And it's now going to say pick video. So that Presto Player widget, you could drop that short code into an accordion, which is what we did for our courses. So the accordion. Each title was a different whatever the video, whatever the course level you're at now. Within the accordion, we had the short code for the video. You could have multiple videos or lay them out however you want. And already here is pop up. OK, now, if it doesn't appear here, just go back into your media hub and make sure you've hit the publish button for what we just set up. So now we have pop up and look, it's now not got the title or the share now or the watch later options open. If I update this page, OK, and we now go to uh, preview changes. OK, look, it's it's there. Oh, sorry, there's a pop up I added onto here. Ignore the pop up. OK, go away, go away, pop up. Right. So the video is now there without those options. And when I hit play now, it's going to start playing, basically. I mean, it's not going to play the volume because I've got it on silent on my laptop, but it's doing the trick. And over here we have the settings, which is just speed. So pick what you want to do and how you want to present it. But this basically is a free way of adding a YouTube video to your website but without having that annoying share now, watch later option. I mean, that's pretty, that is pretty good. I like it. I'm really happy with that. And the other great thing you can do, by the way, is once you've added that, you know, there are things you can do like the border and you can add a shadow behind the border, the video and whatever and style it accordingly, do whatever you want. So I hope that helps. It's free. I'm not affiliated to Presto Play. I want to make that absolutely clear. It's free. No code required. Like, 
subscribe and I'll see you soon.